Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys if you have a BMW guys X1 and you're trying to test your fuel injectors if they're working correctly or if they're leaking guys. We will cover that today. Also make sure to stand till the end because a leaking fuel injector can completely destroy your engine and we'll share more information about that as we go. Now, uh, consider that guys entertaining video only not a how-to video due to the fact that it's dangerous you'll be working with fuel spark you can catch yourself your car on fire and that could be catastrophic guys so consider this entertaining video and we'll show you guys what we do here in the shop usually when we do that now uh, if you guys need to buy a new fuel injector parts tools, anything like that we'll share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience in addition guys if uh, uh, if you have a BMW or any other car guys, as you probably already know, every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information guys. So let us show you what we have here and what we'll be talking about. This is six cylinder N52 engine that you can find in X1. But even if you have a four cylinder engine, uh, six cylinder engine, now we'll demonstrate about the one with a non-direct fuel injection system, but direct fuel injection system will be close, but a little bit different and we'll have a special video that explains that. We removed our fuel rail with all the fuel injectors, guys, as you can see, just like that. Now, that being said, you can see fuel rail is the tube that feeds all fuel injectors fuel. We removed it without disconnecting it. What do we did, okay, that's the fuel line, it's still connected, that way we have fuel pressure. But if you disconnected yours or you don't have fuel pressure, we'll explain how to do that. Before we start, let me tell you guys something. Check this channel out, how to repair guys. This is our main channel and we have helped more than 75 million people guys. Check it out, we have information that can save you thousands of dollars on car repairs. So, that being said guys, when you remove the fuel injectors, okay, we have a special video that explains how to do that and safely remove them. Make sure you clean everything here really good. Make sure you don't have dust, dirt, bolts, nuts, anything that can drop inside your engine because that will bend the valves guys now if you don't have fuel pressure in the fuel rail or you uh, drain the pressure by testing one of the injectors you need to switch to the other one what i usually do we stay on the side we have a fire extinguisher and i just crank okay we have a long okay a long rack that covers all the holes together so it cannot be sucked in the engine I crank the engine for only a couple seconds guys, a few times, okay, and that will build pressure and we can test the next fuel injector, but it's dangerous guys, you can, you can even destroy your engine if you don't do it right, and there is always some risk involved, but as you can see we do quite a few videos, so uh, if you're careful you will, you should be okay guys. Now. We have fuel pressure, we are going to manually activate the injector and check for leaks. Now since we have pressure, check for leaks and make sure that they are not dripping fuel. And in our case they are not. But you want to make sure once we stop, uh, once we activate the fuel injector, make sure that it closes quickly and it doesn't drip fuel. So that's what we will be explaining guys. We will connect the alligator clips, you have two wires, it really does not matter which one you connect to positive and negative as long as you don't touch the two wires together because you will burn your injector now we are going to activate it with a 9 volt battery guys 9 volt battery and check it out what's going to happen now okay the injector should spray stay out of the way eye protection do that on cold engine and have the fire extinguisher next to you guys okay perfect check it out so it sprays good, makes it like fog, okay, that's, that's definitely good means that the injector is spraying good. Immediately touch it, make sure it's not dripping fuel and it's closing correctly, guys. Uh, you can see that it sprayed a little bit in an angle. This is because the injectors are mounted vertical, but the intake valves are actually a little bit to the left. So actually it sprays a little bit this way, so it can just aim directly in the valves. So we get the idea guys, hopefully the video will be helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.